Hello, everybody. I am Dr. Cynthia Smith, and this is Intuitive Hypnotherapy Podcast, where I invite you to come for the chat and stay for the healing. Today's chat and then healing is setting your intentions for the new year. What is it that you want to accomplish in 2023? Do you want to add on to something that you started in 2022? Do you want to start something fresh and new in 2023? I am not a particular fan of resolutions um, because typically it just sets yourself up for failure. Um, I, yeah, that's why on this podcast, we did, I did the virtual gastric band and the healing relationships in, um, November and the virtual gastric band, you know, to start your weight loss journey in December, do it now. Don't set yourself up in January, you know, oh, I'm going to do it then. No, let's start now. So what is it you want to do? What are you going to intend to? Um, And I like to choose three words, joy, health, wealth. Those are three words that I might go with, you know, kind of mantra words, Um, might be happiness, health, prosperity, might be because they have different energy happiness is a different vibration than joy does it spark joy maybe but it's different than happy are you happy am i happy i think i want to be happy in 2023 not that i'm not happy um anyway what do you want to do in 2023 what do you want to do what do you want to have more of what do you want to have less of What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to rid yourself of? Um, And set the bar at a level that's achievable. If you want to lose 100 pounds and that's achievable, God bless. If 50 pounds is more achievable, maybe start there. If you want to write two novels, maybe start on the first one. You know, if you want to make $100,000, you know, whatever it is, just make it achievable. Okay. Now, I am a radical optimist, like shoot for the moon, buy the lottery ticket. You know, I just don't want you to set yourself up for failure. Sounds like I'm operating in a dichotomy. Maybe I'm entitled. I just don't want you to, I just don't want you to whack yourself. But hey, anything could heal. What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to see? Do you want to have something occur locally? like in your own personal space, in your physical body, in your community, in your family? Do you want some healing in your relationships, mano a mano, you know, in the, in the closer circle? Do you want to heal something or see something shift in your community, you know, looking in the next level of the circle? you know, the next level out. Do you want to go beyond that in the country or in your state? Do you want to see some healing there? Do you want a healing on the planet? On this channel, no, on my YouTube channel, Intuitive Hypnotherapy, I did a meditation for world peace when the Russian army invaded Ukraine. Why not? 
why not raise the vibration starting with us? I used to go to the Unity Church and there was a song, let peace begin with me and let, or let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. And I did that meditation so that we could each raise our own personal vibration and then let it resonate out. It hasn't resonated <laughs> far enough, but we can keep trying. Um, it's been extraordinarily costly, not only in dollars, you know, physical dollars, but lives, um, just infrastructure um, and whatnot. Um, but the overall cost, um, what is it going to cost to repair? I mean, holy buckets. Um, you know, war is good business for some industries. Um, I just think those are dollars better spent. Um, so what level of healing do you want to create in your world? And again, doesn't matter to me. We have 8 billion people on the planet right now. We could use some healing. And the more of us that raise our vibration, whether a little or a lot, we all benefit. And if we do this more often, the more we heal. The more we do, the more we heal. The more of us we heal, the more we heal. This is the gift that keeps on giving. And in my worldview, there is a level of urgency for healing. That's why I started this podcast. There's a lot of hurt in the world. Let's, let's begin the healing. Healers of the world, wands up. We got work to do. I personally want you to be happy. I want you to be healthy. I want you to be prosperous. As Elle Wood said in Legally Blonde, happy people just don't shoot their husbands. Happy, healthy, prosperous people just aren't going to theoretically intend harm for others. So let's, let's wish health, prosperity, healing for all of us, however that shows up. And in another hint, and yes, I do follow her on the Twitter. Um, let's also intend some healing for Mother Earth. Let's intend some healing for the planet. Anyway, you shake it. War is not good for Mother Earth. It's not good vibrationally. It's not good for the land itself it's not good for the rivers for air toxins it's not good for what it leaves behind let's pray for peace let's intend for healing for this beautiful spinning blue ball that we live on. We can make it better. We can heal it. So why not? What is your intention for 2023? I tossed in a few ideas of my own, but what, if, what for you? What do you want? How does it look in your world? We're going to take a short sponsor break. This is an opportunity for you to get in your big comfy chair 
get a glass of water or a cup of tea. If you're driving, don't listen to this next part while you're driving, okay? Unless you're so inclined, you want to pull over, get your meditation on, or switch to a different podcast. I did a podcast a couple of, uh, last week, two weeks ago, on some that I recommend. Please listen to that. Um, no driving, no operating heavy machinery. You know the drill. Um, so. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to set our intentions for 2023. Welcome back. Hello. Are you ready to go, go, go? So what are we going to do for 2023? I think... A grounded, conscious world is a great place to start. So this is going to be more of a meditation using our psychic tools. Let's get started. So find yourself in your comfy chair or laying down if that's your jam. Feet flat on the floor if you are in a comfy chair. Okay, okay. And... Take a big, deep breath. Do that again. Just get here. Just thank your body. Thank your body for allowing you to have this human experience. Thank you, body. Even if you had some health hiccups over the past year, you got here. You have a, you have a body to have this human experience. Take a few more deep breaths. And the bod really likes oxygen. The muscles really like oxygen. Be a point of light in the center of your head. Today, I'm going to be kind of a peachy pink point of light in the center of my head. That's a point behind your eyes and in between your temples. For the science nerds, there is a spot in the physical skull called the cella tersica translates to the Turkish saddle. And it is a place where the pineal gland sits. And it is exactly in the space in the center of our heads where we want to sit. Ergo, with our eyes closed, if you so intend, be a point of light in the Turkish saddle. And imagine that you're looking at the world from behind closed eyes. This is your sixth chakra. This is your psychic space. This is your intuition, your knowingness. And being a point of light in the center of your head gives you the opportunity to look at your world from a place of neutrality, from a place of being neutral or impartial.
and when we're neutral or impartial, it's easier easier to heal or observe, get information from a situation or a person because we have some objectivity, we have some distance. Be a point of light in the center of your head. If you notice anyone in there with you, kick them out. Look around your space and imagine a bubble around you in all directions. This is your aura or your energy field. It is roughly three feet in all directions. Three feet in front of you, behind you, on either side, over your head and under your feet. Your aura is your energy field. It is the boundary between you and the world. The aura, in my truth, has seven layers which correspond with our seven chakras. The innermost, if I recall. The innermost being the first, corresponding with the first chakra, the outermost corresponding with our seventh chakra. I'll review. Might be the other way around. Look for yourself. See what works for you. Or not at all. Either way, imagine that your aura has seven layers. Seven layers. And whatever color your point of light is, put that color of light in between all the layers. I invite you to not use white light. It can be a color off of white, like ecru or golden. And sit with that. Be in the center of your head, in your bubble, with all the seven layers of your bubble glowing with the color that you've chosen for today. And make sure that your bubble glows in all areas especially in the back, because sometimes we forget that area. If you want, you can spin your bubble around so the back mm -hmm. is now in the front. Make sure that part glows as well. Or have it spin gyroscopically. And then you'll see it glow. All seven layers. And when you're ready, create an energetic connection from the base of your spine down to the center of the earth. I'm going to use a tube of light. Light sounds like the theme of the day. A tube of light that goes from the base of your spine or your hips through the chair you're sitting in, through the, the floor, all the layers of the building you're in, through all the layers of the earth, all the way down to the center of the earth. The center of the earth can look like anything you want, something that your grounding cord can ground into. It can be a beach, it can be a dirt patch, it can be 
a field, a meadow. It can be the sandlot. Remember that movie? As long as your grounding cord get really tether into that. And if you want your grounding cord to be the same color as the layers of your aura and the light in the center of your head, God bless. If you want it to be a complementary color, God bless. If you want it to be a different color, choose your adventure. Pick a color for your grounding cord that feels good on your body. Any color but white or black. And these meditations, this podcast, this YouTube video, all of these are lather, rinse, repeat. In other words, you can watch these over and over again. I recommend that you do. And you can use these for any subject you want. If you set your intention for a specific item or topic, in this meditation and then want to do it again for a different topic, situation, or person, please do. There is two primary types of energy. There are two. Grammar police Feel free at any time to submit comments. I don't like that. Your energy and anything that's not your energy in the center of your head, in your physical body, in your bubble, your grounding cord, it's supposed to be just your energy. Therefore, when you look around, if you see any colors other than the colors that you've chosen for today's meditation, invite those colors out. By definition, that isn't your energy. My truth is, if you have illness or injury, in your physical body, that's foreign energy too. And you have the right to kick that out. And to the degree that you can have it, it'll, it will leave your body. So once you get all your tools all set up, just the way you like them. Date stamp. Whenever you're listening to this podcast or YouTube video, whenever you're listening to this, that helps even more bring you into present time. At this moment, I don't know that we can time travel. Can't go into the future. Can't go to the past. But we can heal things from our past. And we can intend things for our future. We can do it from this moment. This present moment. So let's. The very act of being grounded in the center of your head, in your bubble, is a healing. It's a healing for you. It's a healing for your body. It's a healing for your situation. It's a healing for the planet. Thank you.
on the outside of your bubble, create a reading screen, a television screen, a theater screen, a video screen of some sort. And on this video screen, this is going to be the story of your life as you intended. Coming up for the next year. And I want you on that reading screen to throw up one item that you intend to manifest for the next year for 2023? What is something that you intend to get done, that you intend to create? Do you want to get a new job? Do you want to manifest a relationship? Do you want to end a relationship? Do you want to move? Do you want to move back? <laughs> Do you want to have children? Do you want your adult children to move out? Whatever your story is, whatever it is that you intend, that you want to manifest for the new year, see it in all its glorious detail. See it as if you're watching a movie, the movie of your life. And I believe whatever you want wants you back. I also believe that the universe rewards specificity. And in this meditation, stay in the center of your head so that you can be objective. As you put up your reading screen, as you put your we call it a mock-up. What are you mocking up for the next year? Sit with that for a moment. And do not edit it for someone else's opinion or how you think someone else wants to see it show up. Ooh. How do you want to manifest your dream? However big, however small, however goofy. And when you're ready, take a bubble and put a bubble, however big you need, around your reading screen. Give your reading screen its own bubble. And then give your reading screen its own grounding cord. And ground off any energies that say that your dream, what you're manifesting, your intentions for the new year can't happen. Ground off any naysayers. Even from yourself. Ground off any doubts. Ground out that doubt monster. Ground off anything that says it's going to be hard. Ground off anything that says, I can't. I can't do that. Ground off any negative energy.
And then this giant bubble that surrounds your reading screen that has the movie of your intentions for 2023. Fill that bubble and the whole reading screen with gold energy. Gold is the highest vibration of all the colors. It also has the ability to purify. So fill that bubble, your intentions for the new year with gold. And then put a hefty dose of and cooler than I could possibly imagine energy in there. That's the stopgap, the little special sauce from my friend Cheryl. The things that you forgot about that'll make your dream, make your wishes that much better. And when you're ready, when you've got the movie, your intentions for the new year, your wishes in all their exquisite detail, when you're ready, drop the grounding cord off that bubble and float that bubble off to the edge of the universe. So the Supreme Being can start working on your order. And know that you can edit this order anytime you want. Wait, wait. Let me put this in. Absolutely. Whatever you want wants you back. Take a moment in the center of your head. Grounded in your bubble. Be amazed at yourself for how capable you are. You showed up today. You showed up today and you got some stuff done. You created your intention for 2023. You took this time for yourself. And you made it easy. And you will now take the appropriate action steps to get that dream. I know you will. So take a big, deep breath. Shiny and new. Happy, hopeful. Wonderful, ready for 2023 and beyond. Stretch. This is Dr. Cynthia Smith. And this is Intuitive Hypnotherapy Podcast, where you came for the chat and you stayed for the healing. And I appreciate your patronage this year. I appreciate that you commented and you shared and that you help this channel grow. And I appreciate that you're going to stick around and listen for more. We're gonna heal, we're gonna heal more. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful new year. Bye now. <laughs>